Aloha. How y'all doing today? This is William, and today we will talk about discs. Okay, so if you're probably like an ultimate uh, Frisbee player, you're like, wow, disc, cool, man. I know a lot about that. But these discs uh, are for computers, all right? So I hope I didn't disappoint you guys too much. All right, so let's mosey into our slides and see what we have about the different kind of discs for computers. All right, so uh, the optical disc is kind of what we're talking about. And uh, it's just a flat, it's circular, it's a disc. And we use that to store data. And a few more details about these. So kind of think about how it's stored on the disc. All right, so the disc actually has what we call lands, which are the flat areas, and then pits which are these tiny indentations in this optical disk. And what happens is uh, the light reflects from these two. And uh, of course, if, if a light hits uh, a flat place, it's going to reflect a lot differently than if it, it hits a, diff a, de a deeper, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, a deeper place. OK, so that represents the ones and zeros. So again, all, all you got to do is have a difference between the two. You got the flat areas and these things called pits. The land, sorry, in the pits. And then uh, depending on how the light bounces off, then you got your ones and zeros. And that's all you need. Cool, man. OK, let's get a few more details then on the, the general optical disk and how, they're, how they work. OK, so kind of thinking, how is the data accessed uh, to the disk and from an optical disk? And actually, we have a laser okay, that, that writes to the disk with a laser and also reads from the disk uh, with this laser. And um, a few more details here, again, about the general uh, organization of the optical disks. They're actually uh, inside or on the, the, the disk is a single track. So it spirals from the innermost track to the outermost track. So it's just this long spiral. And that's how the data is stored on this one spiral. So pretty cool. Um, so um, that's in contrast uh, to other disks where it's, it's uh, concentric, uh, the circles are nested with each other. Okay, but this is one long uh, uh, single track. If you're into mountain biking, maybe you're excited by that. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, so let's just check out the different kinds of disks that we have. Okay, so for the optical disks, we got three kinds uh, these days. And well, one is the compact disc called CD. And then another one is the digital video disc, okay, DVDs, what we usually say. And then finally is what we call Blu-ray. And uh, I don't really hear people say BDs. Uh, usually we say Blu-ray or Blu-ray discs. Okay, so that's the kind of three kinds we have. And you know, each one has its uh, positives and its negatives. Okay, just like anything else, you got your advantages and your disadvantages. Um, so let's see the differences between these disks here. All right, so let's mosey on. And for the CDs, okay, the compact disks. Okay, now originally uh, these were used to store um, and play the audio files, okay, music basically. Okay, so we had all the music stored on these CDs. Um, I actually remember back in the 90s when uh, my buddy uh, in college, he had his, you know, the first CD in the dormitory, and we all were real impressed with that. Okay, so now, uh, you know, it's not just for music, though. It's any kind of data. And, um, well, we can store about 700 megabytes, okay, of data. So, yeah, it stores, you know, a good bit of data, not that much. So, you know, you can put it on an album on there. Um, and, uh, you know, it sounds real crisp, you know, as, as opposed to, say, the older records or tapes that we used to have way, way long ago. And, um, okay, so, but now any kind of data can be stored on a CD. And let's, there's three different kinds of CDs. So let's, let's see what we got up here. And um, three basic types. And one is read-only memory, so you can't write over it. It's just boom. They write to it, and then you can't, uh, 
can't mess it up, I guess you could say, yeah. So that's pretty good, like for, uh, you know, put an album on there from someone and then uh, you don't change the music again. Another one is recordable. So they come on a blank, you know, the blank, but um, you can record anything you want on there, but just do it one time. So you can't erase it. So it's pretty good if you just want data to be stored once and you don't want it to change at all. Then last kind, uh, CDRW, so it's rewritable. Uh, you can erase it, and you, uh, in other words, you can, you can change the content. Okay, so just, that's the, the three different kinds. Again, you just set it as it is, or you, you, you uh, write to it one time and that's it, or you can just keep changing it. Okay. All right, so that's it for CDs. Let's see what else we have uh, for y'all. Okay, so we have DVDs. All right, so y'all might be more familiar with the DVDs these days. So digital video discs. Okay, also uh, sometimes we call them digital uh, versatile discs. That sounds even more uh, highfalutin there. At any rate, so hey, we can store seven times more data than CDs. Awesome. All right, so we can, we can cram more stuff on our uh, DVD than we can a CD. So now we're up to like 4.7 gigabytes of data. So you can put a good amount of stuff uh, on your DVD. So a lot of times they're used to store videos, or I guess you could say movies, okay? Because they take up a lot more space. All right. Um, what else? I mean, books on CD. You know, you might have those on the uh, DVD instead of a CD. So CD, um, you know, you, you got to kind of put those things in and out of your uh, your, your um, CD player, but DVDs, boom, you just, it's, it stores everything pretty much. Okay, well, let's see, there's different types of DVDs, and uh, let's see what different types that we have. So three basic types there, and um, one is the read-only memory, so you can't write over it, again, just it, it's stored one time, and you can't change it, so that's pretty good for movies and stuff. Then we have uh, recordable, so you can just, you record once and that's it, uh, DVD plus R and a minus R, it's, there's different uh, uh, kinds of those actually, uh, different kind of formatting. And then also you have uh, uh, rewritable, all right, so there's several different variety, varieties of that, and you can change the content for those, okay, so uh, just depending on what kind of needs you have and what kind of um, what uh, you know what kind of things we're doing. So, for example, movies you just store the movie on the store the movie on the DVD and that would be it. But if you want to store data and and, and change the data on your on your uh, DVD, then you want a rewritable one. Okay, so let's let's see one more uh, optical disc here, um, and then we'll call it a day for this section. So we have the Blu-ray Blu discs, uh, Blu BDs. I, I really don't hear that acronym that much, though, except for right now. Um, so that comes from the blue laser that they use to read the disc. That's actually why it's called the Blu-ray. Ooh, Blu-ray. So great, so you can store 50 gigabytes of data. So that's about 10 DVDs. So you can put a lot more stuff uh, on the uh, Blu-ray disc than uh, the DVD. Okay, so again, we're just trying to put more and more data into our optical storage. Okay, so wow, it's like 50, 50 or, or 10 uh, DVDs fit onto one Blu-ray disc. And again, we got different types, and let's kind of see uh, what we have there. Uh, and and it's the same basic types as the other three. Um, you can do just the read only. You can only read from it. Or you can just write one time, and that's it. It's, it's, it's uh, somewhat permanent. Um, and then finally, rewritable. So you can store to it, and then write over it, and change it. And um, what? Uh, again, you can store a lot more data, data on the uh, Blu-ray discs than the DVDs. OK, so that's our three kinds of optical discs. And um, that's all we have for you all today. And we'll see you all next time. Okay. Aloha. <laughs>